Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about um, the best way to start with air training. So air training is very important, uh, including solfege, uh, sightseeing. So solfege basically is uh, air training and sightseeing, these two together, okay? So like uh, it's really important, it can help you when you listen to a melody or uh, even some chord progression, you can, you can identify the relationship between notes between the chords and you can play them on the piano and even you can apply those kind of thing inside your own music production so it's re very important uh, especially in, in terms of uh, long-term um, benefits so uh, i really suggest um, if you have the patience and if you're learning music in the, for a long run uh, so it's really uh, a good habit or practice to start this ear training at a very early young age. So, um, so the first thing we're gonna start with, of course, it's the intervals. So that's also uh, the only thing we're we're gonna cover in this video. The rest of the concept we will cover in in the later on episode. But first of all, I want to say uh, intervals. So intervals. What are the best way to identify intervals? I, I personally I found if you um, using interval songs that's the best way to um, to uh, ident identify the intervals so what does that mean exactly so for example um, okay I will change this to English so uh, for example major third right like like um, like this song I, I will just play this as an example so yeah so um, like here Okay, just let me skip it. Okay, just hear the beginning. Okay, hear the beginning again. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, th this one, if you don't know, uh, I will just play uh, this on a um, uh, 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 piano. You will, you will, you will, uh, you will get to know what that means. So basically, this two first two notes, it's a major third. The relationship between the the first two notes, it's a uh, it's a major third. We'll find this. So it, it's it's this. So. So here, if you count it, it's like one, two, three, four. It's four uh, half steps, right? So this is a major, major third. So uh, this is how to use this kind of interval songs, um, especially at the beginning, because this kind of song we already knew, knew them, when, when, like maybe in the childhood. So it's the melody is already stuck inside your head. You don't have to memorize it. But if you don't know this song, you can just take a look. Um, the li there's a list. I believe you can find one, um, which it's already something rooted in your brain. If you cannot find it, you can even your uh, you can use your own favorite favorite sounds, um, to identify what are the um the intervals. For example, uh, like like myself, I will uh use this song as an example, uh. To tell you how what the, what do I mean by that? Here, this is a perfect fifth. So here it's a it's a perfect fifth. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven half half steps. So this is a perfect fifth. So yeah, you can just use any songs you like, like your favorite song, your favorite track, whatever. The melody is already inside your head. You just need to tell like what are the intervals. Um, on the on the piano, uh, you can memorize all the twelve um, uh, intervals, uh, by this method just using the interval songs so yeah so so after you practice all this you will found 
like melody uh, cover a melody it's a really easy easy thing for you because in the past when I was learning and uh, when I was listening to a melody it's really struggle for me to um, to put them on the keyboard or on the piano roll but once I really practice my ear like and practice all these intervals and memorize all these kind of intervals it's gonna be really really easy for you so yeah so that's about the intervals uh, thanks for watching